Hello guys, Create Tutorials here, and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you uh, a transition with uh, 3D Stroke, um, and basically you need three plugins to do this uh, uh, effect slash transition. Uh, you need uh, yeah of course 3D Stroke and Star Glow and Shine, and uh, all is uh, trap code um, plugins. Yeah, so go and download that if you don't have it. Um, so yeah, this is uh, what what I'm going to be showing you. Really, really nice. I I think it looks very good. Uh, I like this. Uh, but yeah, I'm not taking any credit of this. I learned this hundred percent from uh, uh, Rob Taser and uh, I got the idea and yeah everything from him on this effect but except the settings the settings I have actually made myself uh, so yeah uh, I might release the settings I, I don't know I don't know we will see but they will be in the description if they are uh, yeah if if they are okay so yeah let's start with this tutorial so I'm just gonna delete the 3d stroke and yeah this is my or what I have here is my color correction my Barrett clip and my three piece and the third pre piece is um, yeah twig stored in 2% that's basically it and this CC I got from a pack and I, I don't remember where but whatever um, so what you wanna do is just go to layer and make a new solid and make the color black um, yeah and click OK and I usually just rename this to 3D stroke I don't know why I just like it and then you wanna add the uh, yeah, of course, 3D stroke. You want to search it, trap code thingy. And I just want to drag this below the CC. I don't know why, I just like it. So, um, I'm just gonna use, or like, uh, what, what, what you want to do is just click on the presets tab and you want to choose a preset that you like. So like uh, I I will just use some random things here. I will use this one, uh, the squiggly outline two. But don't go and use the same guys. Be creative. Change the settings around. Maybe take some other stuff here. But for the sake of tutorial, I'm just gonna take this. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is just go to the camera and you want to go to the zoom because you want it to be bigger. So about 1000 is perfect about there, around there. Yeah, so this is good. And then you want to go and enable the taper, the taper, because it looks much better with the taper on. Um, yeah. And then you wanna go to the middle or yeah before we do that change the color to whatever color you want I'm just gonna take a blue blueish okay so now what you wanna do is just um, keyframe the thickness and the offset uh, where the two clips meet like this just do that and click U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes and now you wanna drag the thickness to where it fills the whole screen basically and I'm, I'm just gonna uncheck the color correction for now uh, but yeah you just wanna drag it up till you see it covers the whole screen but this part doesn't matter yeah um, so now you wanna go back 20 frames um, yeah and you wanna set the thickness to about 10 I like and then the offset to minus 100 
and then go uh, 40 frames forward so uh, so 20 frames from the middle and set it to 10 and then the offset to 100 so now we basically have this like yeah no, nothing special really yeah so that's about it oh, wait I'm just gonna change the thickness about a little bit like that okay so what you wanna do is just hold, highlight the keyframes and go to keyframe assistant and click on easy ease so now it's like smoother and then uh, what you can do is just click on the yeah enable motion blur to make this even nicer but yeah now let's drag in the magic because if you look it doesn't look that good uh, like uh, you see it doesn't have the same things here uh, so this is the settings I might release this I don't know maybe maybe not but yeah whatever um, so now if we scroll through this it looks kind of like this but to make it even nicer enable your color correction and it will look tons of better but as you see it doesn't look as the beginning it looks better so what you want to do is just go to shine and go to the transform mode and transfer mode and set it to add um, yeah, so now we basically have this. Um, it looks really cool in like episodes, montages, whatever you edit. Uh, wait, I'm just gonna. I'm not going to run preview this. But yeah, this is basically it. Uh, and yeah, guys, I I love you guys. So uh, I will release this uh, template below. So just go and download that. Uh, if you want to change the color you see it's really like it's bluish you see if you want to change that to maybe a green or something then you need to go to the shine and colorize and go to the midtones in shadows and the midtones you can change it to like a light greenish a light like like that and then this to a little bit darker gray or green and you have a green now effect so just mess around with this effect you can be really creative with this um, yeah guys so the download link is below and uh, yeah uh, once again thanks for 1k subscribers and uh, I will release uh editing pack really soon so look out for that. Yep. Bye guys.